What's going on guys? Today we are going to be installing the radium fuel pressure regulator kit on the STI. So first thing you're going to want to do, open your fuse box. Let's see if I can get this with one hand. Yep. We are going to be taking out the fuel pump fuse. 15 amp, take that out, start your car and let it stall out. That way we have no fuel pressure. And that's it. So there's no more fuel pressure. Now we're gonna start working on it. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is remove the feed line. One hose here, one here. The Phillips. And that goes to this guy here. This guy going to this guy down here and then just disconnect the whole clip right there. Okay, so we disconnected this, I believe, is a return line going down here, and now we're gonna work on these two. This one. Actually, no, we're keeping this one here. We're going to remove this one up here. This one's coming out. Along with this one. Right here. And then I'm just going to work on this one here. Now we have the whole unit out. Just got to disconnect the vacuum line. And then work on this guy here. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm trying my best. The vacuum line, just pull it off. Yeah, cut this anyways, we don't need it. Now that's out. feed line here using the supplied disconnect tool to there. Basically it just fits over like that. Just push it in. Yeah, it was kind of hard to show but basically this just goes over like so. Push this in. Once that's in, you push this forward and pull out. And it'll come out. Now we do the same thing to this guy here. Now this is out. 
We're not going to use this anymore. So now we're going to want to prep the fuel pressure regulator. So these are the parts you will be using. You can use this one if you have a pressure gauge, which I don't, it is on the way. So before you install these, make sure you put some lube or oil on the gaskets and then tighten it down. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to be using dielectric grease on these. Alright guys, so my battery basically died, but this is the complete setup. Super simple to install these. This just slides in, clamp these, and lock this into the rail. Same goes for this side. This is the feed line. Evap and then return. So return goes to the bottom port. This is where your gauge goes. Boost source coming from here. This is your return. Bottom rail. Three empty ports. It mounts right here. Other than that, it's a clean setup, super easy. I'm gonna have to cut this to here, just make it shorter. But super easy install, everything is there. And you're gonna, I recommend getting a gauge after. Mine's on the way still back ordered but there's a easy way to basically check it and I will show you guys right here well if you do not have a pressure gauge this is how you would adjust your pressure into the feed line uh, sorry return line tap into it stop Thanks for watching this video. Once again, quick install on the FPR Radium kit. See you guys in my next video. Peace.